Well, hello everybody. I uh, just wanted to do a really quick little video here <clears throat> on um, on this knob that you get a lot of questions on here. This little knob here called band spread. You see where it says band spread? And um, you know, among the newer people to the, to this hobby of uh, either shortwave listening or ham radio. Um, People like to collect the older gear. This is an old uh, Sky Champion, an old uh, Halicrafters, and this is an S20R. Really nice uh, little receiver. It's completely restored. It's like brand new. Um, I've gone over it from stem to stern. It's really nice. It has. It even has the external S meter. You can see came with it when I bought it. Um, very nice little radio and I really enjoy listening to it. The sound of it's really nice and it's very very sensitive. But one of the things that people ask about a lot is this band spread knob and what it does. And uh, I'm going to try to clear that up here in a short little video. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is if you look on here this is your main tuning dial and of course you have your four different bands one two three and four and uh, if you look it's kinda hard to see I'll see if I can zoom in um, you know the lighting isn't that ideal for this but if you look on parts of the dial here and actually I have a spare dial let's just do it that way it'll be a little bit easier maybe let's look at uh, the separate dial here Okay. If you look at this dial, I'm on in focus, parts of the dial actually have darker, like a thicker line on it. See there? And if I go, maybe if we can zoom in on this enough. Yeah, there we go. See right here how the line is thicker? And this is thicker? That those lines are on there for a reason okay like I'm right on the edge those are different bands like ham bands and so forth that that are defined so if you look at the amateur radio band hold on a second so when we look at the 20 meter band as we talk we call it okay the 20 meter band is a ham radio or an amateur radio band that uh, licensed amateur radio operators can use and the the actual frequency that is allotted for us is from 14 megahertz 14.0 to 14.35 megahertz and that little thick line right there that we're looking at actually marks off that portion okay but you can see for me to tune in that little tiny area Look, look how, let's back off again. Look how little I'm moving that knob to go across the entire bandwidth of that, uh, you know, of that amateur radio band. So to be able to accurately tune with that would be very difficult. So what they do is they use a secondary tuning knob called the band spread. Now, how does band spread work? Well, you have a second tuning dial here and it's it's just basically a a gauge that goes from a scale that goes from 0 to 100 so 0 there's 95 so if you go all the way back around and back to 0 that's 100 okay and essentially if you set this to 0 whatever the the dial indicator on this is pointing to is the actual frequency that you're tuned into. If you put it on the edge of one of those bands and you rotate the band spread knob, it'll allow you to fine tune across that area very precisely. So, for instance, you put your meter, you put your gauge at the your in, your dial indicator at the very beginning of the band you want to tune through and then you leave your main tuning knob alone and then you use this knob to find your station so let's see if we can pick something up it's it's in the it's late afternoon uh, and 
the band conditions aren't very good today. They're actually really lousy, so we may not pick up anything. I am hooked up to my 43-foot vertical, but I really highly doubt that we're going to get much out of this. So let's try it anyways and see what we can get. And you can see we're getting a we're getting some fade here. So there you go. There's a channel. So you can see how that works. It makes it a lot easier to tune through the band. So we're way up at the end of the, the uh, 20 meter band right now. And, um, and you can see our scale is way at the end, but this has never moved. We did it all with the, the band spread tuning. So that's really what band spread is all about. Now, understand that when the band spread is not at zero, whatever you're reading on here is not going to be accurate, okay? It's going to be that plus whatever frequency this adds to it, and this isn't very accurate. This is the way you did it in the old days um, on a general communications receiver. Now, some of the, uh, the actual ham radio receivers that were really designed, you know, for those specific bands um, are a lot more accurate and don't really have this, but for this particular thing, that's how you do it. And that's really all the band spread really is. Okay. Um, again, I thought that that might be an interesting little thing. I know I've, some people have asked me some questions about that in the past. And I just thought that would be an interesting thing to explain. So there you go. That is band spread. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, give us a thumbs up. I have lots of videos I'm going to be working on here. Um, <laughs> I have one that uh, was going to be a time waster video, but as it turned out, um, gave me a little more fits than, uh, than I really had time to deal with. So I don't know if that's going to be a postponed video, or if I'm not going to post it at all, or if I'm just going to let you see, <laughs> see it as is. Well, we're, I'm on the fence on it yet. But we have plenty of other things we're going to be doing, um, and uh, I'll let you know as things... Uh, transpire so you all have a wonderful day thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the radio here and i wish you all peace joy and happiness in your lives have a great day all of you and we'll catch you next time